Hi friends. Today we're going to work on updating your learning progression tracker on your iPad. Because let's face it, you don't need to go and sit down at a computer every time you want to pull scores off of Echo and drop them into your tracker spreadsheet so you can see how you're doing. Let's get started. So I'm already in my Google Drive app on my iPad and here are all my different files. It gets a little weird sometimes in how it displays things. So if you're having trouble finding your tracker, remain calm. Just go up to the search area and type in tracker because we know that's part of the name. And it's going to pop up with a list of everywhere that word appears. And there's mine right on the top of the list. Let's go ahead and fire that up. And as always, we wait for it to load. You'll notice you're going to get an error. You can read it if you want. What this is really saying is the Google Drive app can't display the really cool chart that we made mm. together. That's okay. Um, you will notice that after you update this, you can look at your spreadsheet on a desktop or laptop and you will be able to see the chart just fine. Unfortunately, the iPad app doesn't show it. Don't like it? Send an email to Google. So all we have to do is tap OK clear that message and let's take a look. I've got some of my assignments in here. You can tell I've been keeping up as best I can. Let's add a new one. So I'm going to tap in row 20. Wait, nothing happens. That's okay. We knew that too. Double tap and at the bottom you're now going to get your keyboard or your Bluetooth will be ready for you to work with and you can simply type in that input field at the bottom of the window the assignment information and jump over and we'll drop in our date and then your score. And as I fill it all in I can either tap mm -hmm. to go to the next cell or I can touch all the way on the right the blue check mark. And you can keep doing this, double tap, to pull up that field. You can reach the other parts of your learning progression tracker, the other tabs, just by looking across the bottom. Notice that each time you open them, you're going to get the error message about the chart not being visible. No worries. And if you click, or if you tap and drag across the bottom, you'll be able to see all of your tabs for both uh, Dan and Chizzy's class, including the all-important reference tab at the end. So a good strategy would be maybe to have recorded some scores in advance that you can write in here, or if you happen to be near a desktop computer, log into Echo. You can see the information on Echo. You can enter it in on your iPad or vice versa. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of us and Thanks for keeping your learning progression tracker up to date.